it is time to give you something to smile about. As we all know, most people have a sense of confidence, right? When their smile is bright and healthy. Of course, the reverse is true if you have something going on that you're trying to hide. So Dr. Brian Kavitko and his team of associates are able to address all your dental needs, no matter how small, how extreme. And we have Dr. Kavitko joining me now. So thanks for being here. Thanks for having me and congratulations on your third anniversary. Oh, thank you. And congratulations going right back to you because you won the Consumer's Choice Award. And that is something that we talk about, you know, your consumers, your customers are the ones singing your praises. So how does that make you feel? Oh, it makes me feel awesome. I didn't even know there was an award for a dentist to have. The first time I won, which I think was in 2000 and maybe nine or 10, something like that. I was like, really? This really <laughs> exists? I didn't know this was a real award. So what makes your dental practice, do you think, different than all the others out there? One of the biggest things is it's complete dental care. So over the years, I've gotten um, more training to where I can provide all these different services that you would normally have to go to here, to here, to here. And with Dr. Kavik and Associates, you just come to us and you stay there. So we place implants, we do ortho, we do gum surgeries, we do impacted wisdom teeth, and I do intravenous sedation. I have been since 1985 and so I can make people comfortable and that allows me to do those scarier procedures mm. that maybe another a general dentist might be able to do but the people won't let them because I want to be knocked out you know the patient right, right. says I want to be knocked out <laughs> so we can do that so what do you say you know we talk to the people out there and and it's something that just you know it's it's kind of been that taboo topic of you know people who are scared of the dentist they don't want to pick up the phone they don't want to kind of hear the truth if they haven't been in years what do you say to those people out there who are sitting there going yeah I I'm still afraid we actually have an ad that says we don't judge we solve we are not going to judge you for the reasons you haven't been because it, we can't change the past you know in the Lion King the movie where it hits him up the head and says it doesn't matter it's in the past right yeah so congratulations for picking up the phone and making that call because that's the first step we cannot do that for you we can't but once you make the call we take it from there and that's where the sedation comes in for the people well a lot of people come in they're so afraid so nervous they're yeah. so nervous they can't even they can't even sit in the consultation room I've had a woman run out during the consultation wasn't even in a dental chair yet, but she came back and we got her through it. We started with sedation, but over time, people don't need the sedation. They get more relaxed. They realize we're not going to hurt them, that we really are. We really mean what we say, and they'll have to remind me. Six years later, this one woman said, don't you remember how nervous I was? And I go, what do you mean? She goes, yeah, I was. Oh, you're the one that ran out of the office. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, I forgot all about that. Now, why would I forget? Because she's so normal now. Right. She just comes in and she, we've gotten her over the hump. You've earned her trust. You've yes. gotten through that. Yes. And so we're going to look at some before and after photos. Everything, like you mentioned, you do everything from kind of tooth implants, veneers, whitening. So what are some of the most common things that you're doing on a regular basis? Well, the folks? first picture was orthodontics. So we did orthodontics on that gentleman. That was porcelain veneers. This is almost every tooth. Every tooth had a cavity. And when we got finished, look how she looked. Yeah. These were porcelain veneers. Um, just covering the tooth like fake fingernails for teeth. Um, you know, and look this at this one. The, I mean, she almost <coughs> looks like complete makeover from the teeth. Yeah, I mean, it, it yeah. makes your whole face brighter. Yes. Everything about you. Right. Kind right. Of, you know, brings that smile. It changes out. your life. It does. You know, it is life changing. I realize that I'm changing lives when I do this. Now, routine checkups, x rays, all that good stuff for the people who do go all the time. Why is that so important to folks? Well, first of all, we can catch things when they're little. And by the way, little fillings cost less than big fillings. There you go, another simple, simple incentive. Simple yeah. economics, right? <laughs> um, and you know, you don't want to wait until you have a toothache because you're scared anyway. You're afraid, right? And guess what? If you wait till you have a toothache, you're facing a scary procedure, either an extraction or a root canal, right? If you come for routine checkups, routine exams and x-rays, we're going to either tell you you're healthy, which is also cool. Wouldn't you love to hear that? Yeah, I love to hear it from my obviously. doctor when he says I'm healthy, right? Or we're going to say, you know what, you have a little cavity here developing on the lower left molar, let's fix it while you're here. And by the way, we have a laser that we don't have to use a needle, <coughs> excuse me, a needle to numb you. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, I, I kind of teased <coughs> earlier, Dr. Kavitko, that you were the world's most interesting dentist. And you were even telling me a story. I mean, just like, you know, you talk to the most interesting people. You talk about things. You were explaining to me you were talking to T-Pain. Right. Who, as some people know, he's a rapper, right? right? So right. what do you have to talk to T-Pain and dentistry about? Where, where did that kind of come in? Well, T-Pain has a grill. 
Yeah. And um, I've actually done makeovers on a gentleman that had a grill whose teeth got rotten under there. And so I asked T-Pain, I said, how long have you had that grill? And he goes, I don't know. I don't even know what time of day it is now. And I said, <laughs> well, well, does it come out? And he goes, of course it comes out. I have to brush my teeth, don't I? And, you know, that was on, like, the, the radio show two weeks ago. And, um, you know, it just points out that everybody needs to take care of their teeth. Uh, you would not have this job if you had Billy Bob teeth. You just right? wouldn't. I wouldn't right? have my job if I had Billy yeah. Bob. Nobody would come to me. If my teeth looked like some of the before pictures that we showed you, nobody would come to me. So teeth are very important. And what makes me interesting, I guess, and I didn't give myself that title, by the way. Someone <laughs> else did. But it was, um, okay, so I, I, uh, I have a commercial dri a truck driver's license. I have a 52-foot rig that I drive. I have portable dental equipment that we do free dentistry outreach type of thing. Um, I play the drums. I used to travel in a group uh, called the Caldwells. I traveled for three years on the road in our own bus. Um, I uh, have this radio show. I've done 505 episodes. And I just do a lot of, I used to own an ice rink. I've had a Zamboni. I drive the Zamboni. You know how people say my other car is a Zamboni? My other car really was a Zamboni. Oh, and that is so funny. <laughs> you know what I think is that you have so many interesting stories that when people are getting their teeth done and you feel like you need to talk but you can't, you can just share story after story after story and make it an well, incredible we, experience. We kind of do that. We kind of yeah. do that. But I'm also pretty good at understanding when people are trying to talk to me when they can't talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Dr. Kavitko and Associates is as easy as going to the website, making a phone call, all that information up on screen for you. So thanks for being here. Very, very nice to have, I'm sorry, it's very nice to meet you and to have to be on the show.